Assalamu alaikum dear students I am professor Javed Iqbal I hope you are enjoying good health today we are going to discuss the biography of famous english poet Seamus Justin Heaney he was an irish poet playwright translator and lecturer and the recipient of the 1995 nobel prize in literature In the early 1960s he became a lecturer in Belfast University after attending university there and began to publish poetry He lived in Sandy Mount Dublin from 1972 until his death One thing is very much uh, uh, notable regarding uh, Seamus Heaney is that Robert Lowell called him the most important irish poet since yeats and many others including the academic john sutherland have echoed the statement in a sentimental way that he was he was a great poet who had a wonderful gift of eye and ear and he has a gift of story storytelling upon his death in 2013 the independent news newspaper the independent described him as probably the best known poet in the world shimas hini the eldest of his nine brothers and sisters was born in april 1939 His father dealt mainly in cattle besides having a small farm of some 50 acres in County Derry in Northern Ireland. And he and his mother belonged to a family called McCann whose connections were more with the modern world than with the traditional rural economy. He and he was grew up as a country boy and attended the local primary school at school he became aware of the religious and cultural division of ulster as a very young child he watched american soldiers on military exercises in the local fields in preparation for the normandy invasion of 1944 and these landscapes affected his personality a lot He graduated in English language and literature in Belfast in 1961. In 1970 and 1971, he worked at the University of California, Berkeley. This accelerated the politicization of his poetry. Poetry could become a mode of resistance. For some time, he taught in America as well, and so. Uh, so he moved from the earth of farm labor to the heaven of education so uh, at st columns college he was taught latin and irish and these languages together with the anglo saxon which he would study while a student of queens university belfast were determining factors in many of the developments and retrenchments which have marked his progress as a poet in his first he wrote his first verse verses uh, when he was a young teacher at belfast in the early 1960s and many of the best known poems in north his important volume published in 1975 that are linguistically tuned to the anglo-saxon note in english hini's poems first came to public attention in the mid 1960s when he was active as one of a group of poets who were subsequently recognized as constituting something of a northern school with an irish writing although hini is stylistically and temperamental mentally temperamentally different from such writers as Michael Longley and Derek Mahon 
who were his contemporaries. Let us have a look on the series of his works. In 1960, 1966, he wrote Death of a Naturalist in 1969, Door into the Dark, and in 1972, Writing, sorry, Wintering Out, and in 1975, North, 1980, Selected Poems, and 1984, Station Island, 1987, The Hub, Lantern and 1991 Seeing Things 1996 The Spirit Level and 2001 Electric Light and uh, he received very much important notable thing is that he received Nobel Prize in Literature in 1995 Shimasini is considered as the voice the Irish voice of the earth in the course of his career Shimas Hini has always contributed to the promotion of artistic and educational causes, both in Ireland and abroad. In his writings, he emphasizes on human work, plowing and digging, butter churning, the blackberry and potato picking, and uh, the interchange between man and nature, and enlarges the poet's consciousness. The poet is intimately involved with his own community the inheritor of rural traditions of labor and service shimasini was very much involved in politics as well he was always present uh, 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 these things always present in his poetry and they are the shadow of violent conflict between protestant unionists and Catholic nationalists in Northern Ireland. So the major task of Seamus Heaney is not to condemn, but to draw back and examine the historical reasons and psychological consequences, consequences behind the conflicts. This gives his work universal meaning and almost mythic resonance. The next thing is very much important that Shimasini is considered as the elegiac poet. Uh, the poems evoke figures who suffer some kind of human diminishment, isolation, repression, disenchantment, exploitation and betrayal. So they stand for those historically dispossessed and Maltre maltreat maltreated and act as exemplars of suffering and endurance. So, uh, having these elements in his poetry, uh, Shimas Hini is considered as the elegiac poet. So, that's why he is considered the greatest Irish poet since Yeats. Let us discuss uh, the style of Shimas Hini. Shimasini attempts to develop poetic language in which meaning and sound are intimately related result in concentrated sensually evocative poems characterized by assonant phrasing, richly descriptive adjectives and witty metaphors. Critics note that Hini is considered with many of contemporary Northern Ireland's social and cultural divisions. For example, Irish and Gaelic colloquialisms are often intermingled with more direct and straightforward English words for a language that is both resonant and controlled. And presence of a speaker viewing the story from his own particular place and time is an important key element in his poetry. He writes a quatrain from where there is the dissolving of line into line and image into image, the use of enjambment. Enjambment means uh, the continuation of a paragraph or a sentence from one stanza to another stanza. And two stresses to a line is very much important in his poetry, like the half line of Anglo Saxon alliterative meter use of colon or its equivalent the dash 
is is present in his poetry imitation of anglo saxon saxon uh, kennings uh, is present and precision of technical terms are present in his poetry viewing the art of poetry as a craft he ni stresses the important importance of technique as a means to channel creative energies toward sophisticated metaphysical probing he explores a wide range of subjects in his poet poems including such topics as nature love the relationship between contemporary issues and historical patterns and legend and myth however some critics debate robert lowell's assessment of him as the greatest irish poet since yeats they agree that heeny is a poet of consistent achievement achievement no doubt he was a great poet of his age and that's why he was awarded nobel prize in literature in 1995 let us have a quick overview about shima sini's life that i have taken from wikipedia He was born in 13 April 1939 in Tamnearan near Castle Dawson Northern Ireland in County Derry and he was died on 30th August 2013 at the age of 74 in Black Rock Dublin Ireland and he was an Irish by nationality by nationality He was an alma mater from Queen's University Belfast. He got his masters in English language and literature degree from there. And uh, his notable works are Death of a Naturalist, North Field Work, The Spirit Level, Beowulf, a New Verse Translation, and District Circle, District and Circle, Human Chain. These are the notable works of Shima Sahini. here are some not- notable awards that shimasini got in his life first is jeffrey faber memorial prize in 1968 and se- uh, second is em forster's award in 1975 and the major one is the nobel prize in english literature in 1995 and uh, uh, golden wreath of poetry in ni- in 2001 and ts eliot prize in 2006 and the last was the griffin trust for in excellence in poetry lifetime recognition award in 2012 he was married to mary devlin and there he had three children michael christopher and catherine and so uh, this was all about shimasini he was the great poet of ireland much of his poetry addresses the history of social unrest in northern ireland and considers the relevance of poetry in the face of violence and political upheaval in Ir- in northern ireland his poetry reveals his skills with language and his command of form and technique in his poems he ne balances personal topical and universal themes he balances personal topical and universal themes and his approaches of his themes from a modest perspective uh, creating depth of meaning and insight while remaining accessible to a wide audience so this was all about the biography of shima sini If you people f- feel any kind of problem you can ask me in comment box okay stay always blessed and in our next video we will discuss about various poems and themes of Shimasini stay always blessed and Allah Hafiz